Hey YouTube, I am back with another how to navigate video and for today's video we are going to be looking up Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. So let's go ahead and type it into Google, my favorite search engine, but you don't necessarily have to use the search engine. Get help if I can remember how to spell. Okay, Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Let's take a look. So first thing that pops up, which is pretty good, that means they have a really good search engine optimization tool. Let's have a look. It looks like their website name is actually oopf.org. That's pretty unique. Looking at their homepage, pretty good. Some announcements, some information about Omega Sci Fi, which is good. Oh, they have their programs right there for you to see policies, them in the media, their history. Looks like they want you to get all the information up front so that you don't necessarily have to click on the menu button, but this is good to just scroll through anyways. Social media, looks like they got some pretty good things on their Instagram going on. So let's see, uh, let's go to their about, about Omega, lots of information here. Again, when you're doing your research, it's good to just look over this stuff so that you know what you're looking at. Let's see what their president information has to say. It looks like this is just a contact page, so no problem there. Let's go back about Omega. Let's take a look at the history. History of Omega is pretty extensive, which is good. Lots of stuff on their side menu bar for you to click on as well, but it's pretty detailed in terms of them just going through the history of the organization, which I think is really helpful for anyone who's just doing their research to see what it's all about. See that on the left-hand side, they have stuff about eternal growth, uh, the 40s, all types of decades with Omega Sci-Fi, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see, let's go to programs, conferences, their conclave, some mandated programs listed there as well, um, some things related to their achievements and things like that. Policies, every organization is going to have their Hazing policy is listed there for you guys to review and to know more about. So please make sure that you read that. Let's go back to the home page. I think the membership link on the home page is probably the easiest way to find what you're looking for. So let's take a look at that. So when you get to the membership page, you can see things from introduction to eligibility to selection process. But what I really like is that they have this wonderful scripture right here. And this is for all you people that say that we don't believe in the Lord and our organization. Here's your proof right here. There you have it. So you people can kick rocks. Anywho, going into the introduction so giving you a little overview of what omega is and how is it incorporated into the community into the workings of the organization itself they have that there they also have information on the selection process how do they choose their members as well as eligibility so all that information is there for you to review before you pursue membership you can use this website as a resource to make sure that you are a good fit but also to make sure you meet the requirements couple of things. Um, they have some submission to a polygraph test if need be. So just make sure you're reading the details as far as becoming a member so that you know what you're getting into. They have an online process link right there for people to take a look at as well. So plenty of information for you to review if you're interested in becoming a member. Omega does not hold back in providing their details on how you can do that. It also includes that you have to be sponsored by a member. I believe uh, Alpha Phi Alpha said the same thing. So just make sure you're reading that. And that's for the under undergraduate level as well as the graduate level. So make sure that you're reading these details before you pursue membership into these organizations. The details are all there for you. And once you've met all the requirements and are approved to go through the process, you can click that link. It doesn't let me go into it, but uh, you'll see the details again about undergraduate requirements and graduate requirements for candidates. Information on dues will be there provided for you. Um, so just make sure you read all the details and that you actually get approved before clicking through all this stuff. Again, I'm just clicking because there's nothing stopping me from doing so. So <laughs> just to give you guys an overview, I'm just clicking the buttons for you so that you can see. But there's a link to begin the process. Once you're approved, this is on a separate tab. Um, currently, they're not accepting applications, which is fine. We're just going through it. So this just gives you an overview of what you can be 
uh, looking for as well as what you have to look forward to for when you become a member. So I hope that you guys found this information helpful as far as how to navigate. Take a look for yourselves. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.